Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and happy Magic Mail Monday. I hope your week is off to a great start. Mine is definitely off to a great and, um, and busy start. I kind of overbooked and overextended myself a little bit this weekend and um, early this week. So today's Magic Mail Monday P.O. Box Disney Mail From You video is gonna be just a little bit shorter than some of my more recent ones. I have a very finite amount of time to film and edit and upload uh, because I have um, I have overscheduled accidentally. So I grabbed um, four packages from my bin of Disney Magic Mail. I'm so excited to open them for you. And if you do not see your mail in this video, um, please look for it in a future video. I am still working on getting caught up, but it is happening slowly but surely. And of course, there'll be more Magic Mail next week. But for now, I'm just gonna jump right into this pile. Um, if you're new to my channel, Magic Mail Monday is uh, the day of the week that I set aside to open very magical, very sweet Disney mail from um, from people out there who are strangers but who are now friends because we've connected um, over Disney. So it's it's mail from you and, and I'm very grateful and super stoked. So let's get going. The first package I have to share today is coming from the United Kingdom. So a little bit of international mail to start off with. Uh, and it doesn't say the name on the outside so we'll have to look inside and see if there's a name um, on a card or a note. But I just kind of snipped this open right before I turn my camera on. Ooh, and I'm pulling out a bunch of exciting uh, things. I see some paper and then I also see maybe like a t-shirt. So let me look around quickly for the note. Oh my gosh, look at this cute card. It's got Snow White on the front and then on the back there is um, the apple with a bite out of it and the apple also has a face. Very cute card, never seen uh, a card like this before. Oh my gosh, and now that I've opened the card, I totally know who this is from. This is from Vicky. Vicky has a YouTube channel, Vixen Lost in Disney. Hi Vicky, I had no idea you were gonna send me something. Um, and she just says, Dear Becca, I wanted to send you a little note. After finding your channel last year, I decided to jump into this Disney YouTube world. It's been the most unbelievable experience. Vicky says, I hope you like these gifts, most of which I picked up on a recent trip to Seoul. The t-shirt is from a UK small shop. I hope 2019 brings you everything you wish for. Love, Vicky. Thank you so much, girl. I was totally not expecting any mail from you. What a pleasant surprise. Okay, so first I gotta take a look at what this uh, shirt is. I'm pretty sure it's a t-shirt. I'm gonna unfold it here. Oh, oh my gosh, this is so cute. Okay, this is like a perfect, perfect t-shirt from me. It's a white t-shirt and it's Zootopia themed and it says, it's called a hustle, sweetheart, and on the hustle you've got a pair of little Judy Hopps ears. What a cute design. Zootopia, of course, is one of my favorite Disney movies, and I love the quote, it's called a hustle, sweetheart, because it speaks to um, something that I value a lot, which is hustling and hard work and um, and grinding and, and discipline and doing the hard things. So I really love this shirt. Thank you so much. This is super, super cute, and there's not enough Zootopia um, like t-shirts and apparel out there, so I'm really happy Happy to have this for my my stash oh and then the shirt is by not rock paper scissors it's rock paper sisters rock paper sisters cool I'm gonna look up their website I think I'm gonna link it down below so in case you want to get yourself um, a cute Zootopia shirt from rock paper sisters um, I'll, I'll put a link to that website as well and then there is a teeny tiny uh, little wrapped thing with some washi tape and some pretty pink folded paper let's see what this is Looks like it's a pin. Oh my gosh. Look at how tiny and precious that is. I of course love Disney pins, but I also have a collection of kind of non-Disney enamel pins, like just like cute designs, and I've got some cats and some uh, just like various designs that I've seen from different artists. So I'll be adding this to my kind of non-Disney pin collection. It's adorable. And speaking of adorable, Vicky also included this postcard of a bear doing yoga on a yoga mat, which is hilarious. And I think there's like a fitness tracker on her paw or on her arm, which is very, very cute. I'm a yoga teacher in my real life, so I love everything yoga and especially kind of yoga jokes. This is darling. And then finally, she sent me some super cute stickers, all kinds of cute animals with like flowers and hearts and hugging each other. I love adorable stickers, so this will be going into my sticker stash. I especially love Asian stickers. They just have the cutest designs and the stickers are always so delicate and, um, and detailed. 
Thank you so much, Vicky. I totally love it all. And I'm, again, so surprised to get mail from you, my mailbox, but very honored and flattered. And um, I will link to that Rock Paper Sisters with the Zootopia shirt, as well as Vicky's YouTube channel down below. And yeah, I'm hugging my stickers because I'm a weirdo. I, I hug inanimate objects like stickers. Mm. All right, the next package I have is from one of my neighboring states, Wisconsin. And um, this is actually something that I discovered uh, in the wrong bin. When I get my mail, I usually sort it into magic mail, pin mail, and then like, you know, boring mail like bills and catalogs and things. And I had accidentally put this in my pin mail bin. And I think there's actually like a Christmas related item in here or a Christmas gift. So it's my bad. I'm so sorry I'm opening this way too late for Christmas, but better late than never. And um, hello to my friend in Wisconsin who sent this. Let me see if there's a, a card or if I can figure out who it's from. I am not seeing a card, just this really cute little gift wrapped item. Maybe there's a, a note inside. I'm gonna open this up. I love the cute um, tissue paper and the cute bow. Tissue paper says fa la 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 la. Oh, I think I see a card. So, ooh, there's a really pretty print, but I'm gonna show, that, show you that in a second. On the back, there is um, a little goodie bag with little winter puppies. And um, I see a Sorcerer's of the Magic Kingdom card and also like I think a, an actual card card. So let me take this off. Sorry for the glare, it's super sunny out today. Okay, before I read the note, just look at this card. It's got Slinky Dog on it. I love everything Slinky Dog. And this is from Jamie. And Jamie says, Becca, Merry Christmas from another Midwesterner. Oh, I'm so sorry I didn't find this until after Christmas. I just wanted to pass along some Disney magic from your neighbor to the east. Thank you for all your positive and uplifting content. I was shopping for my sister on Etsy and came across this art shop. This print screamed Disney Kitty. Thank you so, so much, Jamie. And I hope you had a Merry Christmas and Happy New Year, Happy 2019 to you. Let me show you all um, the beautiful art print that Jamie sent. The um, Etsy store, by the way, is called Asia Draws. So I'll see if I can find that and link it down below, but Check out this cool art print. It's so cute. It's Snow White and she is surrounded by the seven dwarves. I love the sort of aesthetic of this. I love that it's black and white and I love how cheerful she looks. She just looks like like a little kid, like an adorable like little girl Snow White um, with all of the different dwarves around her. And this uh, is the artist. The artist must be named Asia and I think this is her Etsy shop. So I'll link to it down below and what a beautiful print. I'm so uh, delighted and honored to, to have this. It's gorgeous. And here are the Sorcerers of the Magic Kingdom cards that Jamie threw in. Um, I, I do collect these. I, I don't have the full set, but I'm getting close. We have um, the Mad Hatter's Tea Party. We have a Robin Hood Sorcerer's card. I'm not sure that I have this one actually. Um, oh, and Belle, Belle throwing a giant snowball. I love the design of this one. I've got a Buzz Lightyear Sorcerer's card. And then finally, oh, Flynn Rider with the frying pan. I love it, and Maximus is in the background. I love these cards, and um, I don't think I have uh, a couple of these actually. This will help me complete my collection. And then one thing I love to do if I do get extras is give them to kids in the parks, or sometimes when I meet characters, I have the characters autograph their, um, their Sorcerer's cards because I'm a huge nerd and I do stuff like that. I love this bell one, it's so pretty. Thank you again, Jamie from Wisconsin. I love the art prints and as soon as I'm done filming this, I'm gonna go sort all my Sorcerer's cards into my little Sorcerer's card album book keeper thing. Next, I have a package from a familiar return address. This is from my friend Megan over at Mickey's Magic. She has a lovely Disney-themed YouTube channel, but I'm feeling the package, and one thing I know about Meg is that she does handmade ears. She makes her own ears, and so I'm wondering if she sent me a pair of ears. I had sent her a pair of ears, not that I made, but that I knew she would like, and um, I think she might be sending me some ears back and I'm, I'm wondering if they're ears that she made. So I'm gonna open this up. Oh my word, oh my word. Okay, yes, these are definitely handmade ears. I cannot wait to show them to you. First though, the card. And in the card, Meg says, among other things, she says, I wanted to make you an extra special and personalized pair of ears. I hope you love them and I can't wait to become even better friends this year. 
love Megan from Mickey's Magic. Well, back at you, Megan. I hope we get to know each other more and more, and I hope our paths finally cross uh, in the Disney parks this year. I kind of feel like we always have trips planned that are super close, but we just don't quite overlap dates. So hopefully this year in 2019. Anyway, let me show you these incredible ears. Uh, they're like hand drawn, hand painted. They're gorgeous. So here's a better look. I love this beautiful um, red sequin bow in the center, and then we've got a hand drawn and painted Snow White on one ear. And then on the other ear, we've got my name. So very personalized, I love that. I really don't have um, many ears that say my name on them like at all. I think I have like one other pair. And then on the back, we have the old hag and the poisoned apple. You could probably even wear these um, in either direction. So like Halloween season, you could do the villain side. And then like the rest of the time, you could do the Snow White slash Becca side. I love these. These are so thoughtful. They're so beautifully done. Thank you so much, girl. I was totally not expecting these, but I am beyond delighted and impressed. I cannot wait to display these over on my little uh, wall of ears over here. Um, in addition to having a lovely Disney YouTube channel, I think Meg also has an Etsy shop, so if I can find the Etsy shop, I will link it down below, as well as her YouTube channel. You should go check her out. She's a super cool girl, so thank you so much. All right, final package for today's video. I know this is a little bit of a short Magic Mail Monday. Usually I try to get through a few more items, but today, like I said, I'm I'm under the gun a little bit. But this is from a good friend of mine, some Magic Mail from my friend Yvette over at the YouTube channel, Happily Ever Evie. She had been hinting around that she was gonna send me a package, um, and it did, it did arrive, and it's bigger than I thought it would be. So hi, Yvette. She's actually down in Disney World right now, like while I'm filming this, I hope you and David are having a great time um, but let's see what Yvette sent me I have a feeling I know at least one thing that's in here um, it's kind of covered with some Disney tissue oh my gosh there's so many fun things in here okay let's go for the card first it's one of these um, cool Disney designer cards and it's got Belle on the front she says dear Becca happy new year 2019 I hope you enjoy these items I'm sending Thank you for being such a dear and true friend. I know that's hard to find and I really treasure you. 100% back at you, yes. Thank you for everything, you don't even know. Um, she says, I'm looking forward to growing our friendship this year and having many more magical adventures together. Yes, I have a feeling we will be adventuring together soon. Okay, thank you so much for that. I'm excited to see what is in this box. Oh my gosh, okay. I'm really excited about this first thing, not anything I was expecting. It is a hat, it's a Disney hat. And if you've heard me talk about hats before, I actually really prefer to wear like a hat with a brim when I'm in the parks. I wear ears occasionally when I'm in the parks, but I like to keep the sun out of my eyes and I also worry about my ears getting damaged when I'm in the parks. So I'm more of like a baseball cap kind of girl. Super cute hat and it says, if you can read this, dot, 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 thank the Phoenicians. If you are a Walt Disney World fan, you will know that that's a quote from Spaceship Earth, the big uh, the big ball in Epcot looks like this. I love this, that's so cool. I had no idea this hat existed, but it's adorable and I love that it's kind of like an Epcot inside joke. It's like one of the most quotable lines from the Spaceship Earth attraction, which is a very nerdy attraction. Um, and this is a very nerdy hat and it's perfect and I flippin' love it, so thanks, girl. I'm going down to Orlando again in March for the Epcot Flower and Garden Festival trip announcement coming soon and I have a feeling this hat is going to be getting a lot of wear on that March trip. There's a bunch of things in here. Holy moly, the next thing I'm seeing is actually um, wrapped up in a little tissue paper. I just tore it off. And it's actually in a little box, which I don't know what is in this box, but this is what the box looks like. Oh, it has a four. Is this an advent calendar box? Is this a socks, advent calendar socks box? Socks box? It's like Dr. Seuss now. Let me open this up. Oh, I totally know what these are. Oh my gosh. I'm so happy you sent these to me because I didn't buy one of the socks um, advent calendars this year, but I knew that this pair of socks was in one of the advent calendars. Look, it's Judy Hops on Socks. Hops on Socks. Sounds like Dr. Seuss in a box, in a fox, hops on socks, 
hop on pop or whatever <laughs> anyway wow i'm like losing it these are so cute I just got to get a little closer with these guys she looks adorable and i love the colors they're very like eastery colors which is appropriate to wear like you know a bunny on easter so i'm gonna be wearing these a lot this spring i'm sure okay next in my box we have this bag it's very like fancy i love fancy bags i always keep things like this i try to reuse them and um, put gifts or like <laughs> pins in them um, let me open this up i think this might be the thing that i think it is i am not very articulate today let's see what we have I think this is a replacement Christmas tree ornament. Am I right? It's wrapped up very, very carefully. So the backstory on this is Yvette was my secret Santa um, from one of the YouTuber secret Santa swaps, which was awesome because Yvette is not just my YouTube friend. Like she's a real life, very dear, true, like real, real friend. Not that we're not all real friends, but like she's you know, we're very close. And um, it was such a fun surprise that she drew my name and she sent me as part of my package this beautiful bell Christmas tree ornament. And then as I was unpacking it, it broke. Belle's hands like broke off of her and fell to the floor. And I didn't even notice it when I was unboxing it, but like people commented on my video, they were like, oh my God, Belle's hands broke off. And then Yvette messaged me and she was like, well, that just won't do. I'm going to send you a replacement. And I told her she did not need to do that. But Yvette is who she is and she sent me a replacement. So I'm pretty sure that's what this is. Sorry, that was like a lot of chatter. Get this open. Okay. Here is the ornament. Oh, yes. She's in perfect condition. Check this out. Not only is it a beautiful ornament of one of my favorite Disney princesses from my absolute favorite Disney movie, but it's also my favorite scene. I love the opening number of Beauty and the Beast so much, and she's sitting by the well, singing to the sheep, reading from the storybook, and wait for it. She sings! Oh, I love this so much. I love it so much that I would have been happy just to keep the broken one and have it on my tree. But now that I have like a fully intact one, it's even better. And I cannot wait to put this out on my Christmas tree next year. So thank you so much for sending me a replacement ornament, which you totally didn't have to do, but I love it. So thanks, girl. And finally, there is one more thing, one cool little wrap thing left in this package. It feels like a pin. Is that sent me like the most amazing pin in our secret Santa swap and I can't believe she's sending me more more pins. Oh my god. What? Okay. So for the secret Santa swap, she sent me the runaway railway jumbo pin. I, I showed it in a recent video. It's actually sitting right in front of me. She sent me this in a recent swap and from that same release she just sent me another one for the upcoming Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway attraction that's coming to Hollywood Studios this year. Oh my god! It's a WDI, which is amazing. It's a low limited edition, probably 200 or 250 You are spoiling me! And I love this one because it actually has a train on it, and I do have like a side collection of Disney train pins. It says, All Aboard 2019 Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway. Are you kidding me? This is so over the top. Yvette, you're, you are so sweet and you are so over the top generous and I'm just, I'm like, my, my heart is all a flutter right now. I love this pin so, so much. Thank you. I can't believe I have both of these now. I have to fan myself. It's not that hot in here, but between my sweatshirt and like these amazing pins and that ornament and all this lovely mail, I'm like, I'm getting, I'm getting all hot and bothered. So wow. Thank you so much. That was over the top. I keep saying over the top to describe Yvette, but she's just like an over the top, big hearted, lovely, wonderful human. And one of my favorite people, frankly, on the planet. So um, I link to her channel all the time, but I will link to Yvette's channel, Happily Ever Evie down below. Go check her out. Tell her how much I love her. And, um, and thank you for the pin and for the ornament and the hat and the super cute socks. That was just such an amazing box. And again, something I totally wasn't expecting. And I'm feeling very spoiled and I think it's a good time to end this video so I can go breathe into a paper bag or something. <laughs> 
All right, everyone, that is it for today's Magic Mail Monday. I hope your week is off to an excellent start. Please leave a comment down below and let me know either something you're grateful for today or something that you're looking forward to this week. Definitely say something positive to start the week out on a happy note. I know that this week here in Minnesota, which is where I'm from, we're supposed to have like record cold temperature. Um, the high on Wednesday is minus 12. That's the high temperature uh, for this coming Wednesday. So I'm like trying to generate all of the warmth and positivity uh, that I possibly can. I'm lighting tons of candles. I'm like stocking up on delicious food and, and wine. And uh, yeah, just like good vibes from me to you and then send some warm vibes my way because uh, this week we're gonna, we're gonna need it. So please leave a positive comment about something that's happening for you down below or something you're grateful for down below. I am grateful for all of you and I'm grateful for um, everyone that has sent me mail and uh, I think next week I will do like a little mix of magic mail and pin mail because um, like I said I had a short amount of time to film and I've gotten a bit behind so that's all I have to say for myself today I'll be back very soon with more Disney related videos have a magical day have a magical week and I will see you real soon bye guys